I now request the distinguished delegate of Germany to make a statement. Madam President, thank you for this opportunity. I congratulate you for your assumption as the President of the General Assembly. Terrorism is a big wall that stands between every great nation and a prosperous tomorrow. In 2015, terrorist attacks occurred in almost 100 countries, up from 59 in 2013. The situation gets worse each and every day. This summer, there has been an ISIS attack launched outside the war zones of the Middle East every 84 hours. In Europe, we faced attacks from these terrorists that are in no way justifiable. In November of 2015, terrorists went on a shooting rampage in Paris that slaughtered 130 people and wounded another 368. In March of this year, terrorists detonated a bomb in the Brussels airport, killing 32 and injuring 340. This July, in the south of France, an Islamic terrorist turned struck into an instrument of mass murder, plowing down and killing 85 and wounding another 308. An ISIS killer invaded a Christian church in Normandy, France, forced an 85-year-old priest to his knees and slit his throat before his congregation. Around the world, ISIS has carried out unthinkable atrocities one after another. Children slaughtered, girls sold into slavery, men and women burned alive. Crucifixions, beheadings and drownings, ethnic minorities targeted for mass execution, holy cities desecrated, Christians driven from their homes and hunted for extermination, ISIS rounding up what it calls the nation of the crows in a campaign of genocide. ISIS has spread across the Middle East and into the West. In 2014, ISIS was operating in some seven nations. Today, they are fully operational in 18 countries, with aspiring branches in six more for a total of 24. We cannot let this evil continue. We have to stop this. Madam President, I'm proud to say that Germany welcomed our brothers and sisters from the war-torn countries with open hands. More than a million migrants came to Germany last year, five times more than the year before, boosted by the country's open-door policy for refugees from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, and other war-torn countries. But now the situation has become worse. The crimes in our country has been increasing since the arrival of the immigrants, and our open-door policy has now destroyed the peace we had earlier in the country. Europe is facing the greatest movement of refugees since the Second World War. Though there has been an outpouring sympathy for the plight of the refugees from Syria, the scale and prevalence of the influx of immigrants is testing the limits of European Union's institutions, solidarity and progressive values. First and foremost, the crisis is a result of the breakdown of the authoritarian state order in the Middle East and Africa after the destruction of authoritarian states in Iraq and Libya, as well as the Arab Spring. What we are witnessing today is not just a series of civil wars, but also a geopolitical struggle to redefine the balance of powers in the Middle East. Second, the inability of Security Council to find a compromise that can resolve the crisis in Syria has undermined its own authority and perpetuated the conflict. Finally, the growing migratory flows are also compounded by demographic growth in countries in the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa and are unable to generate sufficient employment for young people. Madam President, I think we need to find a solution to this problem, and that too at the earliest. Now only the nations that are directly affected by terrorism are taking steps in order to end this curse. But remember, if we don't act now, then we are waiting for another 9-11 incident or another Oklahoma city bombing. As the African proverb says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. We have a long way to go. We can only do so if we go together. And here are our suggestions. Take a decision never to arm a community against a country or coast because this had only created radical groups that finally became a threat to the creator itself, for example, ISIS. 
The United Nations must stay united and fight for the people of Syria. United Nations must ensure that problems are solved with solutions and not war. I believe with the support of the United Nations, we can build a world free of terrorism. Thank you. I thank the distinguished delegate of Germany.